language learning. So um, I'm sorry I've been a little bit absent, but I've had a few uh, things going on. So the next series of videos that I'm going to do is going to be a series of question answering videos from different people who've contacted me with requests. Um, so let's get straight down to it. So which one shall I do first? I think the first one was from a guy called Richard. Now Richard emailed me saying, Luke, do you do any videos about the Bessie Composer using the soft hard method? So by definition, the soft hard method is what I use to talk about the present tense. So what he obviously means is verbs that aren't the A verbs in the past, which is fine. Um, and there's quite a lot of specific things that go on with that, but they're also quite different between them. And so I cover those in individual videos on each of the videos. So then I got another email from Richard going, oh yeah, I found them, you talk about them in different videos. It's just it's not as well done as... And I was thinking, oh, oh, is it not Richard? Oh, oh. <laughs> so Richard is rude, but we have to apologise for Richard. We can't, you know, we're not all graced with a gentle, soft personality like my own. But no, so Richard then said, no, I didn't mean to be rude, but I just mean I can't find it in one video. So, uh, yeah, off we go. So here's the rules. Passé composé. So we are talking about, and let's be very, very clear, we are talking about tenses which use an auxiliary. So yes, the first tense you will come across with that is the one, two, three, you know, he has blank and then your verb in the past. But let's be very clear, this will not just be for the passé composé, this will be for any tense uh, or mood, subjunctively, where you have an auxiliary and you then have a past participle. For example, if you had the verb manger, il a mangé, that is your past participle. Manger will be present in il a mangé, il avait mangé, he had eaten, il aura mangé, he will have eaten, il aurait mangé, he would have eaten. Subjunctive, je suis content qu'il ait mangé. So you're going to have five mainly uh, spoken conjugation systems using the same past participle. Also said past participles often become adjectives. You know, so for example, um, you know, she annoyed me, elle m'a énervé. That adjective is then going to be, I am annoyed, je suis énervé. So past participles are really useful. So let's break them down. So we're not talking about ER or A verbs where the past participle is going to be the same sound as the verb but with an E and a Q. So for example, if your verb is manger, your past participle is j'ai mangé. If your verb is danser, your past participle is j'ai dansé. If it's an être verb, great, same thing. Arrivé, je suis arrivé. Same word in the past, sound-wise, written with an E and an acute. So let's look at some of the common patterns in the, sound, the soft and the hard. So, first group, let's look at ones that use DRE. Now, DRE can be broken into two patterns. It's those that contain prendre, P-R-E-N-D-R-E, -E, and those which don't contain prendre. So a standard in the present tense, anything that doesn't contain prendre will, will conjugate. Je vends, tu vends, il vend, nous vendons, vous vendez, il vend. So that is your soft, hard method in the present tense. And anything which contains prendre will use Je prends, tu prends, il prend, nous prenons, vous prenez, il prennent which is also available. I will pop both of those videos underneath in the description box. So the same distinction will apply in the past tense. If you are using a verb which contains which ends in DRE normally, normally you will not, you will go to DU in the past, DU. So vendre, j'ai vendu. Uh, rendre, j'ai rendu, whatever comes next. Um, um, even if your verb um, we're reflex, pardon me, we're, we're, an, we're an extra verb. So, for example, descend, uh, descendre, je suis descendu. Okay? So, that is a common pattern number one. Can I remind you, can I remind you that anything that uses prendre in the past will go to pris. So, comme prendre, j'ai compris. A prendre, j'ai appris. Spelt P-R-I-S on the end of the verb. Now, any vowel sound in French which is going to end 
with any word in French which is going to have a vowel sound, you need to be really careful when it comes to the spelling. The amount of letters and emails I get from, you know, French, French first language friends who still spell fini, pri, di, they spell these wrong. Okay, so be very careful. This will be P-R-I-S. Attention, if you had a compliment, um, if, so if you had a direct object, if you had, for example, I took it, je l'ai prise. If the feminine came before, you will need to pop an E after that pri. I would attach that link underneath. So largely then, anything DRE will go to du in the past, will go to pri in the past if it's a prendre. Okay? Next group. If you use anything which ends IR, so sound-wise, we are talking ear, but be careful because we're going to come on to another ear group in a minute. Most of them will go to just E. You are going to remove the R. So finir, j'ai fini. Uh, again, with an extra verb. Sortir, je suis sorti. Um, uh, choisir, j'ai choisi. Okay? Not all of them, but most of them. All right? This would include, in the present tense, some that are soft harders and some that are snake verbs. So for example, um, je sors, tu sors, il sort, nous sortons, vous sortez, il sort. That's a soft hard, but the past will be je suis sorti, S-O-R-T-I. And the, um, compared to finir, fini, 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 finissant, finissez, finis. Both will go to, in the past, j'ai fini, F-I-N-I. Je suis sorti, S-O-R-T-I. But, again, if we were using an extra verb, a, a verb with extra in the auxiliary, we would add an E or an S if we are female or plural or both. So, for example, I um, went out, je suis sorti as a man, S-O-R-T-I, as a woman, S-O-R-T-I-E, for example. Okay, or we went out, nous sommes sortis, S-O-R-T-I-S, or if we were all women, S-O-R-T-I-E-S. But the sound will be, Richard, sorti. Venir, very common verb, very common exception to come and anything else that uses venir. So, venir, je suis venu, je suis devenu, je suis, enfin, what else could happen? Um, com, convenir, convenu, parvenir, parvenu, anything that's going to um, revenir, revenu, anything that's going to use venir will use venu, V-E-N-U. Next little category. The verbs I call the U family. So there, is, there are a surprising amount of verbs, which a lot of the time we you tend to hear these said in the, the imperfect, but the past tense will end in an U sound. Letter U. J-U. E-U. Let's be very careful about that one, because basically everywhere else in French you read E-U, you are going to be seeing. Um, we, be we better not mention the E-U at the moment with Brexit, but every time you see E-U, you are going to be see hearing E. Uh. So, un peu, je veux, you know, je veux, hair. Um, just washed it, bit wet, do apologise. So, basically, every single, single time you see E-U in French, apart from this word that I can think of, you are going to pronounce it uh, uh. But I have had j'ai eu. Uh, I had had, j'avais eu, I will have had, j'aurais eu, so all of these endings, like I said, for whichever past participle. I have been able to, j'ai pu, pu. I have had to, j'ai dû, du, accent. I have believed, j'ai cru. I have known, j'ai su, no effect. I have known, uh, to be familiar with, acquainted, j'ai connu. Um, so, in other words, these are very common groupings of irregular verbs. Notice you will often hear this past participle after the had. If I had been able to, if I had known, if I, si j'avais pu, si j'avais dû, si j'avais su. Okay, but commonly you will often hear these verbs used in the imperfect as well. So I could, je pouvais, I knew, je savais, rather than j'ai su, j'ai pu, which exist, which are correct in different circumstances. So I will pop the video underneath on which imperfect, oh, sorry, which past tense to learn. So let me, to use, so let me remind myself, I need to use the, I've got the video on the soft and the hard, I've got the video on the prandre, I've got the video on the, uh, yeah, which past, great. Next category, anything that is a tweezer verb, so the, in the noun of which is action, so réduction, reduction, production, séduction, the past, and this is a common, common pattern in the past. The past will be the same as the third person present. So, for example, other verbs do this. So, I do, je fais, tu fais, il fait. The past is j'ai fait. 
same sound. If we looked at spelling, F-A-I-S, F-A-I-S, F-A-I-T in the present, past, F-A-I-T. Yeah? Same with D. Je dis, tu dis, il dit, D-I-S, D-I-S, D-I-T, past, je dis, D-I-T. Same again if you had a preceding direct object, a compliment, you'd have je l'ai dit, but that's not to worry about necessarily right now. That's another video that needs to go underneath. So the same with the tweezer verbs. So pr to produce, produire, produit, 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 produisant, produisez, produise, present tense, so D-U-I-S, D-U-I-S, D-U-I-T. I have produced, j'ai produit. I have reduced, j'ai réduit. I have seduced, wow, j'ai séduit. Okay? Another common category. Um, verbs which end in an ir, but when it's I-R-E. So for example, souffrir. To suffer, ouvrir, couvrir, um, we'll go to ERT. So, couvert, yeah, uh, covered, uh, découvert, discovered, ouvert, opened, souffert, suffered, yeah, okay. Um, uh, that is another, another category. Um, verbs which are important irregulars that crop up. Suivre, to follow. I followed, j'ai suivi. Okay? J'ai suivi. Um, verbs such as the verb to be in the past, which is always really useful, j'ai été, which people get confused with because they combine it and they confuse it with j'ai I was. To go, people always panic and they forget that it's, an irreg it's just a regular verb with an aller, even though it does other things. Je suis allé. What are the ones commonly come up that are problematic? Um, uh, so let me just quickly talk about something that I did yesterday and I'll think about what happened. So yesterday morning I got up. Hier je me suis réveillé, so a verb, yeah, okay. I washed myself, je me suis lavé. Um, I went to, uh, what did I do? I went for a walk, je me suis promené. Uh, I uh, went, I took the bus, j'ai pris. Yeah, so P-R-I-S, pris, passed it to prendre le bus. Um, I arrived, je suis arrivé, okay, I sat down. Je me suis assis, okay, a double -S, s i s another E category cropping up in the past, okay, I sat down. Um, uh, the woman um, told me that I would need to wait for 20 minutes. La femme a dit, passed the D, que je devrais attendre 20 minutes. Um, uh, she gave me, elle m'a donné... Oh, she offered me, elle m'a offert, yeah, because offrir, so there's that ear category, uh, quelque chose à boire. I drank it, je l'ai bu, there you go, another one of our U categories. Um, um, I finished the cup of tea that she gave me, uh, j'ai fini, there's that E category. Um, afterwards, I left, je suis parti, there's that E category again. So, um... By and large, we still keep seeing these same categories. Uh, I got a, a taxi back because I wasn't feeling very well. J'ai um, pris un taxi. Um, he drove, il a conduit. Yeah? Um, uh, if I had known that I was going to feel well, wasn't going to feel well, I would, you know, si j'avais su, if I had been able to walk back, I would have done. Si j'avais pu, I have... I, sorry, I did uh, a little bit of work. J'ai fait. Common, yeah? Um, I think this is kind of giving us an idea of, of the regularity of... So by all means, so when you come across a verb, go to word reference. Don't look up all the words. Look at the, the very top. It will give you the gerund. That's the ing form. It'll give you the past participle. It'll tell you straight away what that word is. Once you know that, you can do it in any tense. Suivi, he followed, il a suivi, il avait suivi, il aura suivi, il aurait suivi, subjunctive qu'il ait suivi. So, we're approaching 15 minutes, I think that's enough. Richard, I hope this has been useful, do let me know. Um, but those are the main, main categories for, for uh, past tense verbs in the, uh, yeah, in French. Okay, alright guys, best wishes, do click like, do subscribe, and do let me know if you're interested in my podcast, best wishes.